Aloha from Maui, Hawaii. My name is Tom Hall and we're about to take a great adventure. I'm standing here in front of the Pacific Whale Foundation in Maui. And what we're doing is we're gonna go on a snorkel trip. It's a six hour trip. It's about, uh, it's about eight o'clock in the morning right now. And we're gonna be back, I think at about three o'clock. They take care of everything. They've got a continental breakfast. They've got a barbecue for lunch all the beverages you can possibly drink. The trip cost me about $100. We're guaranteed to see whales. If we don't see whales, you get to go on another trip. And what we're doing is we're going to the Molokini Lanai snorkel trip. So Molokini, as I understand, it's a big crater. And the nice thing about that is that it gives you a very pristine, clear area to do some great snorkeling. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get on board and let's have a great day. All right, so here we are in front of the Pacific Whale Foundation. You can see everybody is putting on their sunscreen. When I was calling in to get information about this, they said that you don't need to bring it, and they recommend that you use their sunscreen. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead inside, and we'll see uh, see what is in the store here. Some nice. Oh, nice t-shirts. Okay. That's a nice store. Now that is what I'm hoping to see today. Wouldn't that be something to be able to go out there and see a whale like that? Quite a bit. That's where we sign in. Hi, George. I'm doing a YouTube video. I'm doing a YouTube video. You know YouTube, right? Yeah. Have you ever been on YouTube? Nope. Okay, well, you're going to be on YouTube now. Hey, I didn't bring a uh, I didn't bring any gear that's provided, right? All you have to do is bring yourself. Just bring myself. Bring yourself and the towel. Are there going to be girls in grass skirts on the boat? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> and you think we'll see a whale? Absolutely. I know I will. I don't know if you will. Are you going with us? Yes. Are you going to be cooking the burgers? Absolutely not. I'm not a cook. No. I'm public relations. All I do is smile. Oh, they hired you. They hired you for your good looks. Yeah. All right. So I, I travel around the world and I do videos of my adventures. I'll be there. So I'll, I'll be sure to send you the link and uh, you can share the link with other okay. people and they'll be able to see you. So I hope we have a good trip today. Oh, we'll have a good. One. We will. The weather's yeah. supposed to be good. Yeah, and the palm trees aren't hardly even moving today, so there's no wind. The water's so, flat. So it's about it's about a six-hour trip. Uh, seven. We'll be back in about 3.30. And we're going to Molokini? And Lanai. And Lanai. Molokini is a crater? Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, I thought there was a picture of it up there. And Lanai is an island? It's another island. Do people live on that island, Lanai? About 3,000. Not very many. Okay. Two big resorts there, and that's about all. Are we going to see any dolphins? Hope so. Hope so. The captain always tries. Now, when you say we're going to see whales, am I going to see a whale like that big picture on the back of the wall back there? Or am I going to see a spout we, like... We never know. We never know. We never know what they're going to do. All right. It's up to them. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to a great trip. Well, I hope you enjoy it. All right. Thanks. I'm sure you'll enjoy I'll put it that way. All right. Thanks a lot. And you won't need a lawn chair. We have comfortable seating on the boat. We do, huh? Yes. All right. Sounds good. And you can, don't get an opportunity to get on land. All right. Thanks, George. You bet. Thank you for coming with us. You're welcome. Getting video first thing in the morning. <laughs> You're going to be on YouTube. Oh, really? <laughs> Make you famous. All right, again, if you're on the 8.30 Ocean Voyager Molokini in the night, you snorkel. Head around here with me. Well, good morning. How are you guys? Good. Excellent. Good. You awake yet? Yeah? I see some, like, I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, welcome. My name's Dana. I'm one of your marine naturalists for today. Uh, thank you for coming out with Pacific Well Foundation. 
By doing so, you're actually supporting Hawaii's oldest and largest nonprofit. Uh, so what that means is that all of the proceeds from today's trip go directly back into our conservation, education, and research departments. So thank you so much for supporting that. Uh, do we have any members today? All right, awesome. We could not do what we do without our members. So thank you guys for coming out with us again. Um, part of the membership deal is that they get VIP boarding on the trip, so I'll be pulling you guys to the front of the line before we get on the boat. Uh, but we'll be talking about memberships a little bit later today if anybody's interested in being part of our Ohana. I'd love to talk with you about that later. Uh, but as far as the plan for today goes, in just a couple minutes I'm going to be leading you down these stairs here um, and across the harbor to our boat. Um, it's slip number 52 if you'd like to drive down there, but it is just about a five minute walk. So if everybody could stay on the same side of the street as me as we get to the boat, that would really help me out. Um, it is an active parking lot, so keep an eye out for cars, rocks, caps, curbs, all that weird stuff. We never know what we're going to find in that harbor. Uh, so everybody on the same side of the street would really help me out. And then when we get you down next to the boat, if everyone can have their own boarding pass, that would really be great. Your boarding pass is that white little wispy ticket that likes to blow away in the wind. And it should say Ocean Voyager on it. So double check that, uh, that you're on the Lanai Circle. We're going to be together for about six or seven hours today. So we want to make sure that you guys are on the right boat. Uh, but when we get to the next to the boat, we're going to have one of our professional photographers take your picture. Um, now, it will be available for purchase at the end of the day, up by where you get your free poster. Uh, now, of course, you're not obligated to buy them, but we do ask that you get your picture taken. Even if you know you don't want to get it later, uh, please just make a funny face. You can laugh at it later. Um, it really just helps our boarding process a lot. So once we get you guys on the boat, we're going to have all the snorkel gear that you're going to need for today, um, including optical lenses. So if anybody's nearsighted, you can't see very well far away, we've got optical masks free of charge, so just sit tight and we'll get those to you later on in the trip. Um, and we also have wetsuits. This is going to be something that's pretty important for you guys today. I know it feels warm right now, uh, but the number one complaint that we were getting from trips in years past was about the water temperature. Especially on today's trip, we're going to have two hours of snorkeling. We'll have an hour at Molokini and an hour at our second spot. Um, and people always get chilly by the end of the trip. So we started this wetsuit rental program. Um, it's $10 cash or charge for a wetsuit. The $10 just goes to cleaning and maintaining and replacing these wetsuit tops. Uh, so I highly recommend them. You guys won't see the crew get in without one today. So something to think about. We've got sizes from youth small all the way to triple extra large. So sizes for everybody. But the more uh, popular sizes tend to sell out kind of quickly. So if you think that you'd like one, definitely head downstairs when we make the call for wetsuits. All right, let's see what else. Uh, once we get you guys on board, we're going to have breakfast for you. We'll be coming around with bagels, muffins, fresh fruit, coffee, all that good stuff. And then between our two snorkel sites, we're going to be barbecuing and lunch. So we have chicken, veggie burgers, hot dogs, and pasta salad. And then on the way home from snorkeling, we're going to have open bar. Anybody from the bar? Yeah. Woo! Okay. Well, one person is excited. All right. Uh, but as for the rest of the trip, it's still whale season, so we're going to be keeping our eyes out for whales and dolphins. We like to treat these trips like marine safaris or eco-adventures, uh, so we never know what we're going to find out there in the water. And we'll be on and off the microphone, hopefully teach you guys just a little bit throughout the trip. So uh, it is a non-smoking cruise. We have two bathrooms on board. We have all the sunscreen that you're going to need, everything that you guys could possibly want for snorkeling. I think it's going to be a really fun day. Uh, not to mention there are 61 of you. The boat can hold 155. So you guys basically Elbow have a room. private charter. Woo! You excited? Yeah. All right, so here we are in the harbor, and they are pulling our catamaran up to the dock, and we're going to begin boarding. As the young lady was saying, the catamaran has a capacity for about 150 people. And we've got about 60 on the trip today, so it should be a fairly spacious, relaxing ride. I brought some nice books with me to read and some music. In total, we're going to be snorkeling two hours, one at Malakini and then the other at uh, Lanai. So with that being said, we're going to wait for this to pull up to the dock, and then we're going to get on. Is it going to be rough out there on this? Is it going to be rough? Should be, not too bad. Should be nice. Yeah. Do people get uh, do people get motion sickness on this? Or ocean sickness, or whatever you want to call it? Yeah, they all gather at the back. You won't, you won't miss them. Do you have uh, barf bags aboard? Over the side. Over the side. Okay. Yeah. So here we go. We're 
all ready to start boarding. So you can see this is the professional photographer. And as each person is getting on board here, they're giving them a little buoy that says Pacific Whale Foundation. And they're snapping the pictures. Pacific Whale Foundation, I believe, is a nonprofit organization. So anything that they can do to generate revenue for their nonprofit, I think, is certainly worthwhile. So 60 people, they're all taking their pictures. I don't, uh, I'm glad there's not 150 or else we might be standing here for a little while. Here's a nice couple she's uh, expecting. Okay. All right, we're off. Captain Doug is giving us our instructions. And there's the harbor behind us. Should be a really nice day. Temperatures in the 80s. There's some clouds up, some clouds up above. But it should be a great day. Jackets for everyone on board, adult and children life jackets, lockers posted. And children life jackets are for people who weight up 90 pounds and under. We also have some life rafts mounted in transom in the upper deck here, and these life rafts will automatically deploy just in case we ever become. All right, as we head out to Molokini, I thought I'd give you a tour of the boat. I'm gonna walk, uh, Thank you. just sure. walk around the boat in here. This is uh, this is Captain Doug. Captain Doug is the uh, man behind the wheel of this boat. Captain Doug, how long till we get out to Molokini? Well, it's Molokini. And, uh, Molokini. Uh, yeah, Molokini. We'll be getting there probably about 45 minutes, 30, 45 minutes. Nice ride? Yeah, pretty nice ride. Of course, nice. the more time we stop for whales and stuff like that, the longer it's going to take us to get there. Pretty good chance of seeing whales today? I think I'm going to give you 100% now, I want to see a whale breach. Well, then I can't give you that. But you can't you know give me what? that. Most likely we'll see some, at least from a distance. Breach okay. and jump all the way out of the water, make it a big, huge splash. All right, how many years you've been doing this? Uh, well, let's see. I guess in two days, we've been driving this boat for eight years. Eight years. I've been a captain from, for about 35. From Hawaii originally? Oh, no, no. Came from Florida. From Florida. My first license out of Miami. All right, I'm putting together a nice uh, 30, 45 minute YouTube video of our day today. Oh, why not? So it should, uh, should be a good trip. Not uh, The weather should be nice today for- Today's awesome, too. It's so windy right here. And it's not, like, too, uh, not, not too hot. Yes. You gotta be careful out here as far as uh, using good, good sun protection, don't you? Oh yeah. Yeah, or else, or else you'll get you'll get fried pretty quickly. Uh, my son two weekends ago went and got fried and put the sunscreen over his ranch yard. You can see right from the sunscreen here, and everybody still the back field. So, so this uh, you pronounce this Molokini? Yeah, Molo, Kilmoyello, Molokini. Yeah. And this is a it's a crater. Yeah. Like a volcano or a. Yeah, it's like an extinct vent for a volcano when you form it up, all the other and. Uh, the whole lava. It's a little bit comes up 300 feet from the ocean floor. And we're and actually coming up. So it, 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 as you look at it, it looks like a horseshoe, right? It does, because yeah, but underwater it's a full surface. Right, but but from above it looks like a horseshoe. Yeah. So do we actually go in inside yeah, it? Inside of it, huh? Right inside the triple yeah. right And it's good for snorkeling because it's kind of protected and very clear. Yeah, very clear. It's one of the clearest spots in the world you can ever snorkel. Wow. And how deep is it? Uh, well, when we get snorkeling, it's going to be 30 to uh, 0 feet. Uh -huh. When you touch the smaller key, you can stay away from it and go right to the edge of it. All right, All right good. good well, thanks for your uh, thanks for your time. Sure. How's it going? Just because this nonprofit, so 31 years running, and our main goal is research, conservation, and education. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so we want to be
Okay, so we're only about 10 minutes out from the harbor and the Captain Doug stopped us out here in the, in the ocean. And the reason being is they saw some whale activity. So we're kind of just, we're just waiting. Nine o'clock, the front they of those say, swivel, uh, left is uh, nine, the back is six. So right there, large she blows. So like they're seeing the, uh, away. seeing the whale blowing. Yep, one okay. even closer. There they are. No, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see them on this video, but they're spouting. Sure would be nice to see one of them jump out of the water, but I don't know. We'll see. There's another spout. I understand it. I think these are humpback whales. There, there you go. Okay, hopefully you'll catch this. All right, folks, so we got a little glimpse of that humpback whale that we saw. It's called a fluke up dive where their head goes down, the tail fluke comes up above the surface, the whale dives down. So that whale's gonna be down for a deeper dive again. We will carry on to Molokini, which you can see just up ahead of us. And uh, we'll for right. sure be taking time out throughout the day to get a close encounter with our whale. So that was just a nice start to our day today. So there's uh, Molokini off in the distance. And that's where we're going to be spending the first hour snorkeling. So let's uh, take a walk through the walk through the boat. I'm up at the front of the boat right now. You can see there is the there's the seating. Let's go down below. Blue whales 
whales come in this area? No, blue whales are pretty much off the coast of California. We've never had one down here. You ever wonder how the very first whale thought to come from uh, Alaska down to Maui? Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I wonder how they figured it out. Hey, Charlie, let's uh, just swim this way and see what uh, what's out there. Pacific Whale Foundation. I, I cook your lunch. I cook your chicken. Oh, you chicken cook. Guy. You you cook. All right. So what's on the menu today? Hi, Mark. Uh, today's chicken, vegetable burgers, and hot dogs. Awesome. Oh, vegetable burgers. Yes. All the condiments and everything. Now where's the grill? Right back there. Fantastic. So you, you, you're a good cook, I'm assuming, or they I, wouldn't have hired you. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right. I'll be the judge of that. All right, thanks. This guy's getting nervous. <laughs> I'm sweating over here. It's coffee. It's coffee. All right, so there it is. Hello, Kini. See, there's a lot of boats out there. Zoom in a little bit. the water temperature out here is about five degrees cooler than where you snorkeling off the shore of Maui. So they give you top, they give you wetsuits and the wetsuits, no, they give you a wetsuit top, which looks like that. So we're gonna dock here in just a little bit and then we'll start our snorkeling adventure. All right, so we're getting in position here, and you can see some of the other boats that are out here enjoying the wonderful morning of Maui. Let's see if I can zoom in. There's one. Certainly no shortage of tour operators out here in Maui that'll take you out snorkeling. There's another uh, whale foundation catamaran. They have different trips that go out. This one is a uh, six, six and a half hour trip taking us out. Maybe that uh, one over there is a shorter, shorter excursion. And then if you look into the water, you can see where I'm gonna be in just uh, oh, another probably 10 minutes. All right, so this is what it's all about. They've got the slide right on into the beautiful blue Pacific Ocean. It is really blue and crystal clear. I've got my fins that were provided by the organization here. Got my mask. George sprayed me with some uh, anti-fog. Is that what that was? Anti-fog. And I have my Swim P3 player. Now this is a waterproof uh, music device. And I'm just going to clip this onto my mask and I'm just going to do some snorkeling listening to the sounds of, uh, I think I put John Denver on this this morning. So we're going to just kind of cruise around underwater, listen to the fish, and uh, see what it's all about. Put my mask on here, tighten it up. George, did you spray some water on the slide for me? All right, so here it goes. Let's see. Hold your mask tight till you come up. Wow, fantastic. Water's really nice. Actually, it's crystal clear. A lot of good stuff down there. So with that being said, I'm going to enjoy my hour of snorkeling, and I'll talk to you a little bit later. It's going to be extreme, mate. He's coming up from the depths. I will come down. Oh, I gotta tell you, diving in Maui 
It's such a great experience. The water is pristine, and you see all types of fish out there. I've got my little MP3 player playing some uh, John Denver. You know, swimming under this thing, listening to Rocky Mountain High or, or My Calypso, I sing to your spirit. It's just something else. So if you come to Maui, you really, really got to look up the Pacific Whale Foundation and go out on one of these trips. You're not going to regret it. So I'm going to try to get in a little bit more snorkeling. And I really hope that you're able to come out here one day and enjoy this as I have. So anyway, aloha. And uh, I think this is the symbol they do on Maui, which means hang loose. So. All right, so we got Andrew cooking our lunch. Andrew, what's in there? We've got some chicken breasts. We've got veggie burgers and hot dogs for today. Uh, okay, so there we got our dogs. Dogs right there. Oh, look at that. That's right there, and the veggie burgers are already done. There. Veggie burgers are already done. All right, now where'd you learn to cook? I learned to cook in the kitchen. <laughs> and that's a good place. All right, sounds good. We got some water, we got pasta as well. And of course, there's some pretzels in there now if you're hungry, so snack on And you guys have an open bar, right? Yeah, we got an open bar, but you can't drink until you get out of the water after the second dive. After the second dive, all right. But you can have a ginger ale or a Coke or a cranberry juice, a lemonade, a pug, a Shirley Temple. Sounds good. No booze until you're out of the water, but then Okay, so here we are. We've made it to Lanai, and this is where you would normally go snorkeling. The captain was just saying this is called Shark Fin Bay, and unfortunately he was saying that it's a little bit too choppy here to snorkel, and the water's a little bit green. So we're going to head on out, and we're going to go to the uh, other side of the island. And I believe the reason they call this Shark Fin Bay is because you see this rock formation right there. Kind of looks like a, a shark fin. I believe that's why. But anyway, so we're going to head out and we're going to find a different place to snorkel here on the island of Lanai. Alright, so now we've got some dolphins coming along. If you can see them. Right here. Called spinner dolphins. Coming right along the boat here. Going right out in front of our boat there. And consecutive jumps, their white belly starts turning pinkish and almost gets red in color by the time they're done. It's a very aerobic activity. It's kind of like taking the like that little flush in the face. Quite a few of them. Pumping it, the blood pumping through their belly there so they can use those muscles to spin their body. 
So one theory is that they do it when they're on the outskirts of the farm. There may be a way to uh, let the other animals know where they are. It makes quite a big splashing sound and a big noise underwater when they land. Let's see how the dolphins know where they are or what moves they might attract the attention of multiple males. Okay, so we've got another whale. Kind of an angle dive. So whale sighting. Multiple animals, they fluke up dive like this. They're not going to be down for an extended period. But they quite often all dive down together. So look for a lot of tails here. Wow, there we go. So slightly shallower dives again, just the side of a fluke came up there. And these animals are going to be pushing each other around. There's two of them, spy hopping, pushing, literally landing right on top of the other one. That's a great behavior to see two animals at once. That one there is literally pushing the other one underwater. So they do get pretty physical, these males out here. It's not a fight to the death, but we do quite often see them bleeding or with scars on their bodies. Uh, it's really a show of power to see who's the biggest, the strongest, who can get up close to be that primary escort whale next to the female up here. So it's a little hard to tell who's who as far as gender goes out here, but typically the female's out in front with the males trailing behind her. And it's usually the larger males that are up close next to her in that escort position. And some of the smaller, what we call sub-adults or teenage whales, coming in there, pushing around, trying to get up there, but they never quite do. They're just learning the ways for when they themselves are bigger, they'll be able to get up to that escort position. All right, so that concludes our day of whale watching and dolphin watching and snorkeling here in Maui, Hawaii. Absolutely fantastic. Worth every bit of the $99 I spent on it. And I got a free poster to go with my, uh, my day. I'll remember it. And if you're in Maui, you definitely want to come here, the Pacific Whale Foundation, and go whale watching. So with that being said, I'm going to say aloha, and I think that's mahalo, which means thank you very much. Have a great day.